Subhuman Sounds. So I guess I'm running a little behind on an update on the S10. The uh, back wall, I mean, I didn't do a perfect job on it, but I have a factory back wall back on it, and there's a back glass in it. The can't really tell from here, but the floors welded back up for the transmission hump and my body caulked all the panels that I've welded on. So uh, instead of spending 16 or $17 for the small tube of uh, body caulk over at Advance, I was reading a little bit online and uh, this big, uh, I don't know what size, this is 28 ounce tube of uh, PL3X construction adhesive. Apparently it works just as good and I, I used it on my blazer also. That's, it, it, it seems to have a similar texture to the body caulk, you know, when you cut it open. So I think it'll be all right. That's what I used inside this, uh, this S10 for all the panels that I'd, I'd done any work on. Well, slap some spray paint on that back. Yeah. High quality, high dollar, two dollar paint job there. That's, uh, that's the progress I've made over the last uh, week here. I still need to get done with the front. I, I was looking at the, the front doesn't lay all the way out. So I'm still about an inch up and I don't remember, I need to look it up, how tall of a wheel and tire combo you can lay frame on S10 with uh, stock spindles. These, if I looked it up right, these are like a 28, almost a 28 and a half inch tall tire. So I believe that's that that's a little higher than what normally you would uh, set one up to lay out on with stock spindles. As soon as I figure that part out, should be ready to get the shock mounts on. And I want to get shocks on the front and back, get the front where it's the suspension's lined out. I need to weld that frame horn back on. And and fix that one. Once those are done, engine can go back in and start putting everything together. So I haven't made my mind up yet on the shock set up for the rear. I'm thinking I'm gonna come somewhere around this area to the the bar near the bag at an angle. It, that seems to be the one of the only options I'm gonna have on this setup. I don't I don't know if, uh, if anybody has any suggestions. I'm, I'm open for them. The shocks, uh, I've got a set of shocks. I may end up having to get a different set, just depending on how, the, how everything's laid out. I don't know if there's an option to, I, I don't guess I could come from here back. I think it has, to, it's gonna need to come from the, the upper section of the frame. Maybe like right in here. And uh, the front, I mean, it's kind of a basic setup for a, for an S10. That's, that's what I got on, on the S10 for now. The uh, blazer's resting over here across the street. 
just got it kind of hanging out. As soon as the S10 is ready, I'll, I'll back this one out and turn it around so I can pull the engine and transmission out and slap it over in the S10. That's my that's my short-term update of, of what's what's been going on.